from the secret return of Midas to even the location of Peely, who's been kidnapped. These are six secrets Fortnite don't want you to know about. But first, Fortnite just told me if you drop a like on the video, this will happen to you. But if you don't, this will happen. The choice is yours, so pick carefully. And remember to pop in code MMCS in the Fortnite item shop for 10 years good luck. Since the start of chapter 5, there's been a ton of secrets and easter eggs around the island. But there's some that are not so obvious that Fortnite are hiding from you. Just like Dr. Sloan's return. We jumped into chapter 5 and got introduced to the brand new two factions. The underground and the society who have stolen Peely. Now, if we jump in game here, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's the hidden secret that uh, Fortnite don't want you to know about. So, if we make our way inside this giant tunnel and head down to the secret underground base. If we go in here, as you can see, we've got Jonesy. And if we just go over here, you can see we've got this pin board here that shows all of the members of the society that the underground are after. But that isn't the secret here. If you head on over to these screens, you'll actually see the outline of a familiar figure who seems to have disappeared from Fortnite entirely, Dr. Sloan. If you remember, she stayed back in Chapter 4 to direct Jonesy who went in the time machine to go back in the past to rewrite the timeline and somehow he still remembers her. So with this secret now being on the island, is this an indication that Dr. Sloan will be making a return soon? Will she be a part of the underground and helping Jones to get Peely back? Or will she be a part of the bad guys again, the society? And she's not the only person making a return that Fortnite are hiding, as you'll see in a minute. Right now, our main task this season is to go and find Peely as he's been kidnapped by the society. As you can see, he appears on the missing person screen as an outline, same as Dr. Sloan. But did you know Fortnite had been leaving a trail for us to follow this whole time and his whereabouts. He's the main plot of the storyline this season after Jones found out that he'd been kidnapped by them. So, where is Peely right now? Jones has recently called in the help of the Ninja Turtles to help us find him as well. So, if you make your way over to the motel near the Grand Glacier Hotel, you'll find our first hint. So, if we go in this cabin, it should be in one of these rooms. Ah, here we go. A banana pill on a seat. It looks like the society have held him hostage here before moving on to their next spot. Which, as you can see from this loading screen, Oscar, a member of the society, now has him hostage in a new location. I mean, Peely doesn't look scared at all, does he? Why is he smiling? Many think that the society have an underground secret hideout in the snow. Because, as you can see, if you take a look at the train maps, later on this season, the snow will melt across the island. Maybe he's hidden away in a secret bunker under the snow. And in season two, it looks like Midas could be returning. If you didn't know, we're currently on a reformed chapter two island after the Big Bang live event took place. And dotted around this new chapter five island are a ton of hidden secrets and clues to do with Midas's return I bet you didn't know about. So ever since Midas got eaten by a shark at the end of chapter two, season two, which was actually confirmed to be a snapshot of him inside the loot and not the real Midas, Every season since, we've had a potential teaser about his return. Like his gold hand in Kato Thorn's vault, to even secret interactions with his family members about sticking to a specific plan. But in chapter 5, his return seems more promising than ever. Our first clue about his return was actually spotted in the trailer. It looks like the society struggled quite a bit when they tried to steal Peely from the room because it was an absolute mess. But people with a keen eye noticed something on the floor. The top secret files on Midas. The last time we saw these exact files was in the Imagine Orders headquarters back in Chapter 2, Season 2. And now they're here. Jones and the Underground have files on Midas. But why? Well, he could be the secret leader of the society. Back in Chapter 2, Midas was the leader of Ghost, a secret crime organization. And in this reformed timeline, the society society are doing the same thing. It's a group run by very rich people, just like Midas. Midas even has a past of his right-hand men being animals, like Meowskulls, and in chapter 5, 
we have Oscar. You then got similarities between Montague and Midas with the scar across the eye. Is he somehow related to him? You then also got the logo of the society. It actually shows two gold hands. And obviously Midas was well known for his gold touch. The society also owned the Grand Glacier Hotel, a huge state-of-the-art hotel covered in gold. And then take a look at this. If we land in here and take a closer look inside, you can see these gold doors. Uh, hold up. Let me just take out these people real quick. So, these doors, they don't look like much, right? Well, take another look because they're the exact same gold doors that we saw Midas uses for his office all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 2. That's three whole years ago. And what's crazy is that we've never seen these doors in game before. But that's not all. The society also owned the huge yacht known as Marigold, named after Midas' wife. And who owned this yacht in an alternative timeline? Midas. Go upstairs on this yacht and you'll find a login page on a computer with the passwords already filled out. The passwords are obviously hidden, but one has five letters and the other has eight, which matches the exact number of letters for each of their names. Could he actually be the leader of the society? And you still don't think that's enough to suggest Midas is coming back? Then take a look at this. Located in this weird creepy tool house on the outskirts of the north of the island, inside you'll find something very strange. So if we land in here and make our way to the top of this building, you can find this weird room that belongs to someone. Oh my god, how many stairs are there? Right, here we are. As you can see, inside this room there are a ton of weird collectibles, from military grade equipment to even this mysterious chair. And only people with a very good memory will recognise this black and gold chair. Yep, you probably guessed it. It belongs to Midas. You can actually see this exact same chair inside Midas' office where the Doomsday device was located. This is such a small detail that Fortnite added and a lot of you probably didn't even know it belonged to Midas or even knew that this chair was here. And to round this all up, if you head to this remote island northeast of the map, you'll find a ton of Chapter 2 Season 2 memorabilia. So, let's take a look here. It looks like you've got Sky's notice board. It's just chilling here. Oh, okay, take a look at this. We've even got Brutus's helmet from, guess what? Chapter 2, Season 2. We've got this ball of yarn, which belonged to Meowskules, Midas's right-hand man, and there's a ton of other stuff to do with Chapter 2, Season 2 on here too. But if we also travel up the coast a little further, you'll find this oil rig belonging to the one and only Tientina. So, there's so many hints around this island to do with the return of Midas and Chapter 2, Season 2. Could we actually be seeing the return of him next season? 